Hello everybody, welcome to another uh, video on lathe with live tooling, uh, face drilling. This is the third video of the series. Uh, the first video goes over the coordinates. The second video goes over uh, drilling with polar coordinates. And the last one goes over drilling with uh, XY grid. Biggest thing with this is that normally your X goes left and right and your Y goes up and down. That's how a normal Cartesian coordinate system works. You're gonna take that and you're gonna rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. Okay, so you're gonna take that and rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise uh, for all your X and Y coordinates. So, and again, I've got an in-depth video just on these coordinates and how to get these coordinates, but basically the, the other video showed us how to do a bolt circle using the radius and using the degrees between each hole. Uh, polar coordinates and you program that is XC SPTR SPTC now we're going to use XC XY instead of XC SPTR SPTC we're going to use XC XY using XY coordinates now the regular Cartesian coordinate system goes like this X is left and right Y is up and down but not on the new one on the new one for live tooling, Y is positive, Y is negative. So Y goes this way now, and X goes this way. X positive right here, X negative right here. So if you're plotting the coordinate for hole one, I've got each hole numbered here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I know it's really hard to see, but if you can see it right here, pause the video and then uh, I'd make a quick print of your own. Maybe if I step out of the way here, you can see it a little bit. There you go. No, but again, it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if you're doing a whole one, that's going to be X. This X goes this way. X negative, and the amounts right here, 0. 0.5. I think this would help a little here. Okay, so the distance between these center holes and right here is 0 0.6. Center holes and right here is 0 0.6. Center holes to here is 0.5. Center holes to here is 0.5. Okay? So going to the machine, let's erase this. Okay? Our header, carbon steel, 2.5 inch OD, 0 ID, 3 inch length, work phase 0 0.1, RPM 2500. Push it down. Okay. <clears throat> Instead of doing turning like we were always doing, now we're gonna do point machining. We're gonna do regular old basic drilling. And we're gonna do XC. Use XC for all face drilling. You don't wanna use XY because if you use XY, the whole Y axis is gonna come up and down off the of center for drilling that face. You just wanna use rotational axis of C and then your X diameter of X. And that will still give you this part um, coming up in X and going over in Y. Even though that we're going to make this part, it'll still give you the other part using X and C. Alright, so now, if we're using X and C, we're going to give it the drill diameter, 0.25, and we're going to give it a depth of 0.5, and uh, no chamfer. Okay? So we're going to... Oh, chamfer with it, Sam. Zero. All right, so I picked a center drill edge. We don't have a point eight, so we're gonna go to tool data. But we do have a point five for number twelve. We have a center drill up a half inch with a with the subcategory of D. So we're gonna have to go to our program 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 edit. We're going to have to come down here to our tool and we're going to have to change it from a 0.8 to a 0.5 and then we're going to have to give it the D suffix or prefix, whatever. So 0.5 D, now it'll call up that center drill. <clears throat> Priority doesn't matter. Okay, it put the hole diameter in there for us. Good. Push over, 90 degrees. Center drill cycle. 
All right, now once it gets to the cutting speed, you can always come down here and hit auto, HSS auto. Now it puts in the feeds and speeds for you, but I always go back and change them. You always want to go back and double check. So my rough surface, I'm going to go like 45 surface footage. This is harder material. And a feed rate of 0 0.0025. And M8 to turn my coolant on. Bam. All right, so that's my spot drill. Now I'm going to do my drill. All right, I got my drill. Quarter inch drill. Priority doesn't matter. Machining priority. We're going to do it in the order of the program. Hold diameter, hold depth. The whole depth it got from when we put the depth up there. Pre-drill, we're not using a pre-drill. Uh, Pre-depth, no pre-depth. Drill peck at 125 thousandths, it's going to peck. We got to the cutting speed, cutting speed so we're going to come down here and go HSS Auto. And it puts our feeds and speeds in there. We're going to slow our surface footage down to about 70 on the drill and 0 0.0035 on the feed rate of the drill and give it another M8. I know I'm going relatively fast, but I've got another video on the actual layout of how the programming works. Uh, it starts out with the, with, the, with the header, which is drilling, and it is the tooling header, which is feeds and speeds and depths, and then now you got the program. Okay, so our previous program on polar coordinates you would not highlight anything. Okay, so we're gonna hit point, so we wanna drill point. The two sections are point and arc, we're gonna use a point. Okay, now if you don't highlight X and Y, if you don't highlight this X and Y right here, then it's gonna put in the radius value and the C value, which is your degrees. Radius is the bolt circle, radius, and C is the, C, the degrees of the C axis. But we're gonna use X and Y, so we're gonna highlight X and Y, and now we're gonna type in the X value and the Y value. So we're gonna come down to our print, and we're looking at hole number one here. Remember, we calculated that as X negative 0.5 and Y positive 0.6. So we're gonna go X negative 0.5 and y-axis 0.6 notice how they're yellow they're yellow that means x and y okay start point z is going to be zero we're going to start drilling at zero and our return is going to be return position one all right looks good now we're going to cursor down and we're going to do another point x and y stays highlighted because it knows you want to do another hole okay now we're going to do Hole number two. So we did hole number one. Now hole number two here, remember, X goes this way, so it's still gonna be X negative 0.5. All right, it's still gonna be X negative 0.5. But now Y is gonna be zero. X and Y zero are at the center of the part. It's gonna be X negative 0.5 and y of zero so we're going to put in x negative 0.5 and y of zero start point z zero return one okay now i know that the next point is also going to be negative 0.5 now i know this is going to be negative 0.6 because it's a square Okay, so what that did is that did the first holes one, two, and three. Okay, now let's do this second set of holes right here, four, five, and six. Now notice that the X value is going to be zero. So we're going to go uh, point. We're going to go X of zero. And our y-axis is actually going to be, you know, there's, at the, if you look at the center of the screen, that's, that's y of 0. So number 4 is going to be positive. 
Star point Z is going to be zero. TJ, can you hold this right here? And your return is going to be one. Okay, so that's the fourth point. Now we're going to do the center point right here, which that's going to be pretty easy. It's going to be point. It's going to be X zero, Y zero. Okay, now we got to do the sixth point. So X this way is still going to be zero, but our Y is going to be, it was positive 0.6, then it was zero, now it's going to be negative 0.6. Okay, we only got three more to do, we're almost done. Okay, now seven. Now, our X coordinate, we were at negative 0.5, then we're at zero, now we're gonna be at positive 0.5. Okay, so seven is gonna be positive 0.5, and then Y is gonna be positive 0.6. Then the next point is gonna be, Y is also gonna be positive 0.5, or no, I'm sorry, X. X is going to be positive 0.5, just like this, 7 was Y, X, number 7 was X, positive 0.5. Number 8 is X, positive 0.5. Number 9 is X, positive 0.5. Starting to see the pattern here? So, X is positive 0.5, and then Y is going to be 0. And then the last one, point nine, X is gonna be positive 0.5. And then Y is gonna be, we were at Y positive 0.6, then we were at zero, now it's gonna be Y of negative 0.6. So Y is gonna be negative 0.6. Okay, so I want you to see this pattern really quick here. So you see the first three holes, we're at negative 0.5 and X. See the first three holes, one, two, and three? They were at negative 0.5 and X. And then in Y, then in Y, they were at positive 0.6, zero, negative 0.6. Okay. Then the next three holes, you were at X of zero, 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 and then Y again was at positive 0.6, zero, negative 0.6. So X, X of zero, X of zero, X of zero, and then your Y axis going this way is X of positive 0.6, zero, and negative 0.6. And for the last three holes, your X axis is gonna be positive 0.5 positive 0.5 and your y's are again positive 0.6 0 negative 0.6 okay so there's your x of 0.5 and there's your positive 0.6 0 and negative 0.6 okay we're going to go shape end end teach our zero and go left soft key Program, toolpath. You want to go plan change and you want to make sure X, Z. You want to go plan change. You want to make sure X, Z, X, Y, two planes is brought up. And then that way you can see the side view and then you can see the face view right here. Okay, we're going to hit uh, path continue. And bam, there's a beautiful thing right there. So it 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 spot drilled the three that were negative X, spot drilled the three that were zero, and it spot drilled the three that were positive X. Okay. Let's watch that one more time. Shape erase, path erase. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go past step here. Okay, so there it does. Your now let's do. We know that that's an x of negative 0.5, and y it's positive 0.6. Then it goes to y of zero. Okay, there's y, positive 0.6. There's y zero. There's y negative six. Then it goes back up. Y positive 0.6, y of zero y of negative 0.6 y positive 0.6 y of 0 y of negative 0.6 and as far as your x coordinates all these x's were at negative 0.5 these three x's were at 0 and these three x's are at positive 0.5 and there you have it there is drilling mesotrol programming with xc and then using xy for your coordinates taking the cartesian coordinate system rotating it 90 degrees counterclockwise okay and then when you do that you'll have a part like this this is only four holes you would have nine holes but you you, you see the difference uh any questions just uh you shoot me an email or drop a question in the comments i'll be more than happy to answer you so this is the third video in the series if you had trouble understanding this, there's two other videos in this series called Mazak Live Tooling Face Drilling. Okay, this has been another video brought to by Rich and um, Happy Machining. And uh, there's going to be a bunch more videos coming out. So stay safe, everybody, and have a good day. Bye-bye.